Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator if we have 60 to the power of 6 minus 50 to the power of 6. So we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form and we move towards the solution of this problem. I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And here in this method first we rewrite this equation as this is 60 to the power of 6 and we write this 6 as 3 multiplied by 2 okay minus this is 50 to the power of 6 and we write it as 2 multiplied by 3 so here further we use the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n according to this rule of exponents here we move uh, this 3 inside the term and it will be written as 60 cubed and its whole square minus this will be written as 50 cubed and its whole square. And now here in the next step we use the nice algebraic formula and you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. And you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. So according to this formula we write our above expression as in this form. So here we have our a is 60 cubed minus b is 50 cubed into again our a is 60 cubed plus b is 50 cubed. And further uh, in the next step here we need to find the cube of 50 and 60 so this is the our challenge because calculator is not allowed in this problem so we need to do all of the working on this paper so here first we will find the value of 60 cubed and you very well know about that 60 cubed is means that we multiply 60 with 3 times okay so here first we will take that as 60 cubed so here first we multiply these two values and here you consider this is our one digit number and this is our two digit numbers so here we first we multiply 0 with this complete number 60 we get 0 times 60 becomes 0 and we multiply 6 with this number you get 6 times 0 becomes 0 and 6 6 is 36 and here our resulting answer is multiplied by the 60 okay so we replace this value here and now again we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number so here we multiply 0 with this 300 3600 so it is equals to 0 and 6 times this number is equals to 6 times 0 becomes 0 6 0 is a 0 6 6 is a 36 we write 6 and carry 3 6 3 is a 18 18 plus 3 becomes 21 so this is 60 cubed and in the same pattern we need to find 50 cubed so here and uh, now we will just take here uh, 50 cubed and you know about that uh, the meaning of 50 cube is that we multiply 50 with 53 times in this way okay and now here again we multiply first these two values and here again we consider this is one digit number and this is two digit number so zero times this number equals to zero five times this number equals to five zero is a zero and five five is a 25 and our resulting answer is multiplied by this 50 and in the next step again we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number so zero times of this number equals zero 5 times this number equals to 5 0 is a 0, 5 0 is a 0, 5 5 is a 25, we write 5 and carry 2, 5 2 is a 10, 10 plus 2 becomes here 12. So here we need to replace this value and this value into in this expression, okay, over this expression is uh, uh, written as in this form. So here and we first copy down our above expression it is 60 to the power of 6 minus 50 to the power of 6 is equals to uh, 60 cubed minus 50 cubed multiplied by 60 cubed plus 50 cubed okay so this is our above expression and now we substitute 
uh, above both of these two values here so the value of 60 cubed is 216 and triple zero minus the value of 50 cubed is 125 and triple zero and similarly we substitute it here and it will becomes 216 triple zero plus 125 and triple zero okay we substitute above both of values here so in the next step we need to subtract these two values so 0 minus 0 becomes here 0 this 0 minus 0 again becomes 0 this 0 minus 0 becomes 0 6 minus 5 becomes 1 and here 1 is not subtracted by 2 so here we carry 1 from here this will becomes 1 and this will becomes 11 so 11 minus 2 becomes 9 and this 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so this will be written as 91,000 and it is multiplied by here we need to sum up both of these values and it will become 0 plus 0 becomes 0 this 0 plus 0 is 0 this 0 plus 0 is 0 6 plus 5 becomes 11 we write 1 and carry 1 so this 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so this is our 3 4 1 and triple 0 so here our next target is uh, to multiply these two bigger values without using the calculator okay so here uh, we need to break this value and we write this value as it is this is 3 4 1 and triple zero is multiplied by we break this value as uh, 90,000 and plus this is 1000 okay so here when we multiply this complete number with this value uh, so we again consider this is one digit number and this is our five digit number so here we need to just uh, first write these four zeros here this is zero 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 and zero and now we multiply nine with this value it will becomes nine zero the zero nine zero the zero nine zero the zero and nine times one becomes nine nine four the thirty six we write six and carry three nine three is a twenty seven twenty seven plus three becomes thirty so it will become here in this form and when we multiply this number with one thousand we just write these three zeros here and it will becomes three four one triple zero and these are three zeros okay so here in the final step we need to sum up both of these values so here we have these are two four and six zeros these are the two four and six zero so when you add these six zeros it will becomes here six zeros okay so these are two four and six and we as uh, we just add the remaining value so this is zero plus one becomes one this is nine plus four is equals to 13 we write 3 and carry 1 so this is 6 plus 3 becomes 9 9 plus 1 becomes 10 so this is 10 and we get here this is 3 only okay so this is our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos